Hi everyone, I'm here for just a few minutes because I've been getting emails from so many of you and messages on Facebook from so many of you saying, I'm going crazy, the energy out there is um, so chaotic, there's so much going on, how can I stay calm and grounded? And most of you know there's some crazy astrological thing going on right now, which I don't follow super closely, but there's eclipses and mercury retrogrades and all kinds of things that um, can make things a little more frenetic than normal. And if you have a lot going on in your own life too. And those two things sort of collide. We can just feel like we can't get a grasp on um, feeling calm, grounded, releasing anxiety, all the things we need to do to stay sane. So I'm here with a couple of really easy things that you can do. The first thing is not to chase chaos. This seems so obvious, but it's not to so many people. Now, one of the things we all do when we're anxious or lonely or sad is we go online. We go on Facebook, we go on Instagram, we go on whatever whatever the things we go on are, and we start scrolling. And even if you follow positive things, positive people, too much is still too much for your nervous system. So one of the things that I really like people to do is pay attention to how you feel while and after you're scrolling. And if you feel more frenetic, more chaotic, more anxious, if, if being online and on social media doesn't make you feel better, stay off it. Don't chase that chaotic feeling because even, at least for me, tons and tons of positive quotes and what I should be doing and early bird gets the worm and go to bed early and all this direction, all meant, all intended to be positive can just be too much. It's a lot for our brain to sort of assimilate. So try to find something that's not picking up your phone and, you know, scrolling. That action is really aggravating to your nervous system. Try to find something else. Read a book, listen to music, um, do, you know, do meditation if you meditate or um, light a candle and watch sort of the flame burn as just something calming and something that brings you into the present moment that's not super fast moving, okay? So that's my number one is don't chase the crazy feeling, don't chase chaos. The next thing is to calm your triple warmer meridian. Your triple warmer meridian governs your fight, flight, or freeze response in your body. And what can happen when that gets too, um, too aggravated is you can feel anxious, you can feel ungrounded, you can feel unwell physically. And a very easy way to calm this is something that I learned from Donna Eden, um, energy medicine pioneer, and I also share in my books in various ways, is just to simply put your hands at the sides of your head, take a deep breath in and out. And on the next deep breath in, you draw your hands up, down the sides of your neck, squeeze your shoulders, move your hands on the opposite shoulder, and then pull down into kind of a tight hug. This is the meridian, the triple warmer meridian line. And so if you smooth or calm it a bunch of times in a row, what happens is it brings the energy down and allows you to stay calm and grounded. I usually do it three times, but you can do it as many times as you need, as many times um, a day as you need. So a few times in a row and then as many times a day as you need. This sort of mimics what we do to kids when they're stressed out, where we kind of calm, you know, the sides of their head and brush their hair down. You're basically doing that to yourself. The next one, number three, so we have stay offline if it makes you crazy, calm your triple warmer meridian. Number three is thymus tapping. Most of you already know this from me, but stress really hits your thymus gland, which is the master gland of your immune system. And tapping it either with your fingertips or with a flat hand can really release stress and give your immune system a boost. So I just like to take some deep breaths as I do that. You can pair it with saying, releasing, releasing, releasing to help you release any negative energy you're feeling. Two more things, okay? The next one is to pull excess yucky energy off your body. As we go through life, we pick up on a lot of stuff of other people's. We hold on to our own stuff that we're carrying around, maybe from this morning or 10 years ago even. Um, and so I like to just kind of pull energy off and shake. 
you can just kind of do this, like a brush it off, or you can pull it off. Just imagine pulling sort of like black soot or cloudy energy off your body. You can do it to your lower body too. And just like brushing or sweeping is fine. Or if you want, you can do more of a like pull and throw off. Just throw it away from your body. Okay. And then the last thing that I like to do when I'm feeling anxious or ungrounded or unsettled is to press my hands over my heart chakra and just put a gentle weight there to feel it can, it can help you really feel safe, especially in your upper body where a lot of emotion can sort of hang out. So you can also say, um, you are safe, you are well, you are safe, you are well, you are safe, you are well, which is kind of a chant that's nice and reassuring to the body. So just gently kind of pressing in that area can really bring you back to your center and your heart where you, I believe all people really know that all is well. We just lose track of that when we start getting into fear and getting into our head and overanalyzing everything. So stay offline, calm your triple warmer meridian, tap on your thymus gland, brush off or pull off extra energy from your body, and then ground yourself by connecting with your heart. Super easy. You can do just one of them if you have a favorite, or you can do them all in a row as many times as you want. I hope that brings some calm, sanity, grounded energy to what's going on in your life right now, and I will see you all soon. Bye.